everybody, Brent Randolph here, and I'm joined by Alex Littlehales, and we're going to be recapping another IAC matchup, this one between Georgetown Prep and St. Albans. So what happened? That's right, Brent. And record-wise, Georgetown Prep definitely the favorite in this matchup, winners of, of seven straight, and at this point, you know, kind of coasting to the first round bye of the IAC tournament. And it's all because of Jared Bynum, his handprint on practically every possession uh, for the Hoyas, whether he's scoring, He's assisting, he's setting up the offense, he's, he's the Hoyas dynamic playmaker, and it's that dynamic playmaking that got him those scholarship offers to Kansas State, DePaul, William & Mary, and as the IAC tournament keeps going, and you can see him with the nice dish on the inside, it's that kind of dynamic playmaking ahead of the IAC tournament that is having a lot of schools look at him more intensely, like Northwestern. But St. Albans, you know, they always play this team tough. The previous matchup they were uh, two, they suffered a two-point loss to the Hoyas at home, but they came in here, great energetic visiting crowd, and despite the record, St. Albans is athletic, high-flying, and they have a tough interior post presence, as you can see that dunk inside there. They just kept battling, and they may, you know, they may have lost 54-50, uh, but this is a team that's a deep sleeper in the IAC tournament, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned it. The records are sometimes a little bit misleading because some of these matchups can be very even. But you mentioned Jared Bynum, the little guy, five foot eight, but has a lot of heart. Your player of the game and uh, somebody that Bullis mentioned as one of their toughest players to guard. Of course, Brandon, as you can see, Jared Bynum averaging just around 15 points per game. He has 36 three-pointers on the game. But, but the Hoyas have more than just Bynum, you know? I mean, he's definitely the, you know, one of the better players for the Hoyas, but they have players like Anthony Scafidi, uh, Ike Nwecki. It's a really well-rounded team. And going into the ISC tournament, you can see it by, just by the way they, they play off each other and the confidence the seniors have, combined with Bynum's dynamic playmaking abilities, uh, there's, no, there's no reason they, they shouldn't get that first round by in the ISC tournament. Right, the Dual Hoyas should be very well rested going into the IAC tournament, but don't sleep on St. Albans either. For more information on the IAC tournament and other high school sports, be sure to check us out at DMV Stream.